okay from here i run my neckline to the waist and this is the waist line i'm going to draw the waist line so once i've gotten the waist line this is the kimono part and i'll now make my kimono sleeve this is my kimono sleeve so this is what we have on the outer layer so this is the up the shoulder and this is the waist so for you to make pleats if you decide to make pleats it means you are going to slash and spread so i'll just slash and spread on the line let me just make some slash lines and i'm going to open up the lower part so i'm going to cut what i have right here now that will serve as the outer layer this is the outer layer kimono And this is the overlapping part of it. So you can see what I traced out right now. This is what I traced out right now from the pattern as you can see. So you can see everything is matching in to the pattern as desired. So I'm going to slash. Remember, I said this will be cut two times. So I'm going to slash on the waist line to make those pleatings, which we are going to pleat back to the waist. So I cut in and I cut in and I'll be placing this and slash to make the pleats. Okay, so I'll actually bring in a white piece of paper this time since i'm working with a brown piece so for you to see what i'm going to do i will actually place my this is the all right so let me take away the base pattern so we'll be able to slash and spread so this is how the pattern is the pattern is together so since it's together i named this one two three which i have slashed so now you can see that so i just place the first one to align okay align on this edge so i'm going to apply my adhesive to this right away now i'm going to spread so i'll be able to add those pleats so now um i've spread so as I spread that to two inches, as you can see right here. So now I'm going to cut out what I've spread, my slash and spread. I'm cutting it out and that is exactly how I'm going to place it on my pattern and cut. So from this point right now, I'm going to take my slash lines. I'm going to have it cut in this manner, okay? So I will cut this way, that way, go in this way, and go in this way. And then I've slashed and spread and I've added my pleats. So by the time, okay, I'll still cut from here. So this is how I'm going to um, lay this on fabric. Okay, the paper is actually thick. I just wanted to see if I make my normal pleats. 
okay but it's actually thick so by the time you put it on fabric and gather back to the base you have what exactly what you have on the thumbnail so i'll set this one aside i'm cutting two times of this for left and right remember it overlaps each other so i'll bring back my main pattern so we we'll construct the bust here so the bust here is going to be on this line and on this line the kimono uh, is only for the outer layer so now i'm going to create my dart right here so the dart i'm going to create is normally this is my chest line this is my boss point line this is the under boss point line and this is my waist line so i just come into the boss point line and i'm going to measure my boss pan divide by two and i'll also do the same on the waist line i'm going to draw my line and then i'm going to add uh, make my dots. I'm creating my dots at 0 0.75 on each line. That is 1.5 all together. Then I'm going to come in right here and I have my boss that. So I'll connect my boss that from here to here. Come out a little to accommodate my dots. I'll go this way and I'll go that way. So I'm going to create which dart I'm going to, and definitely the dart I'm using here is going to be a princess dart. So for my princess dart, I take everything I have here and find the mid point. This is my mid point. I come down by one inch and then I bring in my pattern ruler. You can also use a basic dart. It must not be a bustier, but I know many of us like to use make use of bustiers. So that is why I'm making a bustier princess dart. So from here, I came out by one inch, and I'm going to connect the one inch back to accommodate my princess dart. Then I'm going to create the bustier. So the bustier from here to here, I'll take 